In the world of the NSA, there's little difference between friends and enemies. The latest leaks from Edward Snowden reveal a spy agency that's very much interested in the affairs of friendly nations like Mexico and France. Der Spiegel reported that in May of 2010, the NSA broke into the Mexican presidential network to gain first ever access to former President Felipe Calderon's public email account. That snooping gave the NSA insight into Mexico's diplomatic, economic, and political communications. While that spying was directed at Mexico's former president, we also know that in 2012, the NSA spied on Mexico's current president, Peña Nieto, scooping up information about his most relevant contacts and intercepting more than 85,000 text messages, many of which sent by the president himself. The Mexican government, which is a key economic ally of the United States, has responded, saying such actions by the NSA violate international law. Also angered over the weekend, the government of France, also a close ally of the United States, and was one of the few countries standing in support of U.S. military strikes in Syria. A Snowden leak showed that in one month, from December 2012 to January 2013, the NSA scooped up 70 million communications, including phone calls and text messages, targeting average French citizens, as well as prominent business and political figures within the country. The French embassy has summoned the U.S. ambassador to explain the NSA's actions. And so the White House again finds itself trying to put out diplomatic fires around the planet, fires started by the NSA's insatiable appetite for data. And the argument that only terrorists are targeted by the NSA surveillance programs is collapsing under new information that shows average citizens, business leaders, and politicians in allied countries around the world are frequent targets as well. When Brazil learned that the NSA had surveilled the communications of millions of its citizens, its political leaders, and its largest oil corporation, President Dilma Rousseff canceled a planned meeting at the White House and then used her speech at the United Nations to rip into the agency's global spying activities. Meddling in such a manner in the life and the affairs of other countries is a breach of international law and as such it is an affrontment to the principles that should otherwise govern relations among countries, especially among friendly nations. Diplomatic ties with allies across the world are strained as NSA spying activities have been exposed in places like Germany, India, China and Hong Kong. Add in allegations of spying against the European Union, other South American nations, Qatari-based news broadcaster Al Jazeera and the United Nations, and there really is no limit to the NSA's global surveillance operations. And all of these revelations directly contradict the NSA's own mission statement, which according to their website reads, the National Security Agency leads the U.S. government in cryptology that encompasses both signals intelligence and information assurance products and services in order to gain a decision advantage for the nation and our allies under all circumstances. But now, as many of our allies find themselves as targets of the NSA, should the White House reconsider the role its spying agency is playing around the world? After all, the NSA's mission to give the United States and its allies an economic and security advantage now seems to have morphed into a mission to give the United States an economic and security advantage against its allies. In Washington, Sam Sachs, RT.